Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is for the Premier. Given hundreds of property owners living around the West Connects route have only received token compensation as a result of incorrect information provided by your government when purchasing properties, will you as the Premier intervene to provide people like Janssen from Erskineville with just compensation and certainty as a result of this West Connects bundle? Call the Premier. Um, Madam Speaker, I um, thank the member for New Chat for her question. Um, I don't agree with um, the tone of which she asked the question in terms of um, the West Connects project. Um, but, um, members of the opposition, you're really demonstrating, um, demonstrating a level of unruliness which doesn't become you. Resume your seat, Member for Swansea. But, Madam Speaker, what? Oh, sorry, the clock. Well done, Rotter. <laughs> Premier has the call. We'll start with um, Madam Speaker, I think, uh, as I said, I, uh, I don't agree with the tone of the question asked, but I will say this to the member for Newtown. Our government takes very seriously the impact that construction has on local residents. In fact, the Russell, in fact, the Russell Review, which um, was undertaken by the Treasurer, the Minister for Finance, and has been taken up by his um, successor, has ensured that we have the most generous compensation package in the nation, which, which stands to reason because we are by far the largest infrastructure to delivery, uh, delivery agent of all the states. But I do appreciate the importance of not only, not only uh, having the best policies in place, but also having the best people on the ground who can engage with local residents on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I can only imagine uh, how stressful and emotional it would be if somebody approached you to suggest that your home uh, is no longer, uh, no longer yours uh, because of a major project. So I, for one, appreciate the angst that is associated uh, with that. In, in fact, our government has dedicated uh, met much time and energy into making sure we make the process uh, as least, uh, as compassionate, as least stressful as possible because of the very reason why the member for Newtown That's raised the question. Order. You can do it from there, I think, if you wish, but member for Newtown. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's 129 relevance. I asked the Premier directly about the issue around an error of this government that provided incorrect information as a result of the central register of restrictions. It was incorrect you, information provided by the government. Uh, I the question and, I'm and, the I, and, uh, and I relevant. think, and I think uh, at the appropriate time, we indicated our absolute regret that that had occurred. At any instance, and that's been on the public record for some time, it's always extremely uh, unfortunate and stressful when people feel they are not given the correct information. And we will ensure moving forward that we do everything we can, uh, or our agencies do, to provide uh, the correct information, but, uh, but also to deal with uh, residents as, as best we can as well. So I completely appreciate uh, the reason the, that, that part of the question and appreciate the stress that people must be going through uh, if they have experienced uh, that information. But uh, we have dealt with that issue as I understand it, and if there's more to do, we will. But of course, I appreciate as a Premier of this state how important it is to ensure that all residents uh, have, the, have the correct information, have the correct information. And if there's needs for us to follow up on that, we will. Uh, but Madam Speaker, and I thank the member for Newtown for a question because I do appreciate her consistency on this issue and her consistency in her position on West Connex. But I don't understand the position of those opposite on West Connex because the member for Newtown um, did drop off to my office, at, and understandably because she represents this constituency, um, some petitions and uh, an open letter to me from the West Connex Action Group. The first sentence of the West Connex Action Group says, we the undersigned oppose West Connex and call for an immediate review of the whole project. Uh, this is an open letter to me. And then at the bottom uh, of the next page, it has all the signatories um, of the said correspondence. Uh, and it has a list of all the politicians who've signed this correspondence. And of course, amongst that list is not, none other than the Shadow Minister for Roads, uh, the Member for Stratford. So, so, it says the rest of the So, Madam Speaker, it's the last day, it's the last day of the sitting year, and I say this hand on heart. I say this hand on heart. I honestly do not know whether the opposition support West Connex or they don't. Because don't know, during the year they've indicated... You do, Kate. They don't know either. Member for Port Stevens on a point of order. Personal explanation. 
It's one two nine. This is it's not going. It's no this longer is, relevant. But this is relevant. Not it's not it is all that continues to be relevant. Member for Port Stephens. So anyway, may have the direction, Madam but Speaker, it remains I relevant. I would have thought the position of the opposition on a project for which the question has been asked is actually relevant. Uh, but in any event, Madam Speaker, we leave the we finish the year off uh, where we started. No clue on infrastructure, no clue on how to provide a strong economy, no clue on services. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Let's hope they actually do something in the new year, Madam Speaker. Thank you.